So day two of the Ryzen 5 5600X testing. You can see today I'm in the garage. I've got the water cooling set up now. So we've got an EK water block and 1080 radiator. I only have seven fans on though. And we've got two pond pumps in this cool box here. And basically a load of water which is whatever temperature the garage is. So yeah, we're going to be... Uh, Running the 5600X on water yesterday, got up to 4.95 single core and 4.7, maybe 4.75 on the multi thread. So we'll see what it does on water today. Should be a little bit faster, I hope, with the scaling. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So you can see we're up and running now. Uh, it's at 4.7, 1.25 volts. Uh, same as one of the settings I was running yesterday. I'm gonna check the temperatures, see how much better they are on water cooling. Yesterday we were getting to, uh, I think, mid 60s on air cooling with this setup. So today we'll see what we get with water. You can see it's only getting to 50 degrees. <laughs> There we go, 4,500. Not sure why that's so much lower than yesterday. Yesterday I was getting 4,700 there. But it's probably because there's loads of stuff running in the background, all this. So yeah, there you go, 55 degrees. Right, let's uh, do some proper benchmarking now. So underwater, we've bumped it up to 4.8 gigahertz and 1.3 volts and it has managed to run Cinebench now there you go 2083 so it was boosting under PBO so um, about 4.85 so I'm going to try uh, 3.5 volts and 4.85 gigahertz and see what happens, it might crash. There we go, almost 2100 now. So I'll try a couple of runs in real time, see if I can get 2100 out of it, I should be able to. So yeah, there you go, 4.85 gigahertz, run it about 3-4 times, and 2110 points, it's pretty damn fast and 3800C12 uh, and there you can see it's going well so we'll try um, Cinebench R11.5 next and see what we can do there so there we go 4.85 3800C12 23.7 points and you can see there that puts us quite a bit above our score from yesterday and we're above a Threadripper 1950X at 4.2 and the 3800X isn't that much ahead obviously the 3900X is miles ahead but it's double the CPU so if you think um, compare this score to that score so the 3900X should maybe be double 44, 46 so yep, yeah, there we go, another one in the bag. So let's try HardwareBot X265, I've got it on overkill mode, the X2. We are at 4.8 by the way, that is not correct, but we do only have 2 uh, gigabytes of RAM enabled, so we can run 3800C12 with pretty decent timings, not amazing though. It's a little bit uneven but there you go, 70 FPS at 1080p. So now I'm going to run uh, Cinebench R20 all core, I realised before the benchmark score was terrible because it needs more RAM so I put the RAM up to 3.2 gigabytes now 
and we've just gone up a little bit to C14. I also noticed I was running two T Commander 8s, so I've fixed that as well. So we're running 4.85, 1.35 volts, and I'm going to do the single core test as well. So I'll just show you the multi core test, and then if that passes, So there we go, 4,823. I'll uh, bring you back when the single core test is finished. So there we go, 4,823 on the multi thread and 622 on the single thread. I'll just go back to the other one, there we go. Next up, we're going to be running Geekbench 3 64 bit see what kind of score we can get. We're back at 3800C12 on the memory. Also tightened up the uh, third timings a little bit. Now yesterday I got the memory score up to 9300 so we'll see what I managed to get today. So 8,900, so my memory is clearly not as fast as yesterday, but I'm nearly getting 40,000 on the multi-core and I'm still getting uh, 7,060 on the single core, which isn't too bad. So the new tight memory timings at 12, 11, 11, 28, 40. Uh, we're getting 72.3 FPS in the X265 1080p now still at 4.85, I'm literally just memory tweaking now. Also getting over 9,400 points in Geekbench 3 on the memory score. So yeah, it's going really well. I just want to do a quick A data benchmark uh, just for the memory at the current speed I'm at now. Latency down to 50 nanoseconds, that's what I wanted to see.